So the first step in solving this equation is to rearrange the equation. And a good idea when you rearrange an equation is to do did maths in reverse. Or um, as it's better known in the US, PEMDAS in the reverse. And that nicely emphasizes that multiplication and division doesn't matter which way around you do them, you can change the outcome or subtract them and addition. So when we're undoing an equation, which you've been doing for a long time, you've got lots of experience at it, is you have to undo any subtractions. So are there any subtractions in this equation? No, there aren't. So we can leave them. Are there any additions? Well, yes, there are just here. So we need to undo plus root 3. What's the opposite of plus root 3? As we all know, it's take away root 3. So we've got 2 cos of a half x plus root 3 equals 0, and we're going to take away a half x. And then we've got to ask ourselves, are there any multiplications? Well, yeah, there's two multiplications, one here, half x, but that's inside the bracket with the parentheses. So you can't do anything with that at the moment until the end. And so there's only that one, which is times by t. And the opposite of times by t, as we're all well aware, is divide by t. So first step, take away root 3. And second step, we're going to have to divide both sides there. And now we're in a position for the second stage. So first stage, solve the equations using PEMDAS. Second stage is it's going to have to be, and all of these questions are non-calculator, one of our non-calculator ratios. So minus root 3 over 2 is just like root 3 over 2, and it's cosine. So you're looking for the adjacent next two angles and the hypotenuse. So that's the adjacent of this angle here. So it must be 30 degrees. So what is 30 degrees in radians? Because we always work in radians on standard level for other large bodies. It's pi over 6. So we know that cos of a half would be pi over 6 if that was positive root 3 over 2. And so then we move into stage 3. Because it's not positive root 3 over 2. It's negative root 3 over 2. Here's that cos half x term. Um, in this case, it's probably going to be useful to start off looking at the cos x term. So this is the cos x term. And we can see it goes from minus 1 to 1. So that's 1 down there, and that's minus 1 to 1, and that's 1 up there. And uh, it cuts at pi over 2. So we know it's 3 pi over 2 over here, and that's half a circle of pi. So that's 2 pi. Um, you see I've set the window from 0 to 2 pi, you can just type in pi, and I set that scale, and actually what I typed in was pi over 4, because I wanted those marks to be pi over 4, because that's usually the two points on the diagram. Um, so where's minus root 3 over 2? Well, I'll just change the two to red. Minus root 3 over 2 is about here. Stick it in the window. And this was positive root 3 over 2, which is about here. Uh, and that gave us an angle of pi over 6. So at this point here, that was 30 degrees or pi over 6. So we can use symmetries of the graph then. From the maximum, it's pi over 6 away. So we can say from this point here, it's going to be pi over 6 away from there. Also, based on the symmetries in the graph. So that's the point we're interested in right there. And that's pi minus pi over 6. That's when the cosine term is equal to minus root 3 over 2. You can see it's equal to the intercept of the graph. That's how you do it on the calculator. You just plot that one in white with minus root 3 over 2 by the point you're intersecting. And then the same thing here. That point there that we're interested in is pi plus pi over 6. Um, when you're adding these, just treat them as whole numbers. So that's like 1 minus a 6, which we all know is 5, 6. And then just add back in the pi. And that's like 1 plus a 6, which is 76 pi. And so they are our solutions. So we'll go back up. If we did the inverse cosine, so opposite of cosine is cos, so 
and minus 1, we get 5 pi over 6, or 5 pi, pi or 7 6 pi. Or 7 6 pi. Let's run that. And then you've got plus or minus 2 pi, because this is going to happen every period. So that point there is going to reproduce itself. And then further on, let's see that. If I change the window here, and I'm going to change that to 4 pi instead. So let's keep that at 4 pi. And then graph it. And absolutely, you're going to see minus root 3 over 2. It goes here. And then 2 pi later, one period later, the wave's coming back down again. So you'll get a second solution. And the same here, you'll get a second solution. And this is where you need to look at the domain to see what domain a question asks you for. So if I scroll back up, there's the domain of this question, minus pi to 2 pi. So that's the area we're going to look into. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave it as plus or minus 2 pi, and we can have k lots of that. So we can go on forever, 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi. We want to undo the half. This wave is longer. So this wave doesn't complete one full cycle, and it completes half a cycle in 2 pi. Um, so we're going to have to undo that. We're back to solving equations, and we're going to divide both sides by a half. So divide by a half, divide by a half. And remember, that is the same thing as tangent by 2. Tangent is much easier to do than dividing, so let's do it in any new terms. So x is equal to 5 pi over 6 times 2, so that's 5 times 2 pi over 6, or 7 times 2 pi over 6. And then plus or minus 2 pi times 2, which is 4 pi, but this is period. This term is twice as long, so we can print half a wave in 2 pi. So at that, we've got 10 6 pi or 9 6 pi plus or minus 4 pi. We're almost there. We've almost got all solutions. Let's get rid of this working out down here. Hopefully you all spotted the deliberate mistake. Yeah, this happens all the time. 7 times 2 is 14, not 9. But when we're in a rush, students often just add. That small mistake can cost you quite a lot of marks. Be careful. So 7 times 2 is 14, which is a shame for these marks and silly things like that. If you're going to make mistakes, you're human. Just check yourself all the time. Ask yourself, is that reasonable that this answer is smaller than that answer? Yeah. Okay, plus or minus 4 pi, we can see we're going to be well out of the domain if we do plus or minus 4 pi, so there's no need in this case. So that's the same as 1 and 4 6 pi, which, and 4 6 is 2 thirds, or this is the same as 2 and 2 6, so it's 2 and 1 third pi. And then we're just going to look at our domain and see if we need any both of those solutions or not. And here it tells us it only goes from minus pi to 2 pi. This is bigger than 2 pi, so we don't need that solution. So our final answer is just 10 6 pi or 1 and 2 thirds pi. Let's draw the names on the right hand for the left hand. And you can see that in the calculator version down below, there is only one solution. That's pi there. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I am. And so minus root 3 over 2, you've only got the one solution. Yeah. 